Well, I'll tell you, <clears throat> it is very easy for me to get hopelessly sidetracked on something that really doesn't have a whole lot to do with the uh, building of the hood. And I think that what I should do is spend a little bit of time here um, on our photo etch and try and get this, these photo etch pieces put together. Uh, at least a start on it. I think I've spent, what, three days now messing around with this stuff? And, and we will get at it. It's not like I've given up on it. It, it is my intent to try and take you know, with, with the super macro here, take really close ups and see if we can just see how these broke apart. Did they snap apart or did they rip apart? Now, I was going by the way it felt yesterday and, and I would say that they, they, they basically ripped apart. They did what we wanted to do. But anyway, enough about this. Let's get on with some of our stuff here. Uh, we'll try and finish this little, uh, here it is here this one here uh, and then the, the other two I'll do off camera I, I did realize that we, we did something almost identical to this only about a month ago and uh, I'm going to do it the same way because it was I, I came up with a good idea in other words how do I get these little tiny seats onto that this little bracket well I remembered how I did it um, yeah and I think I did it in great detail on camera so we don't need to waste a whole bunch of camera time. <laughs> it's a good thing we're not paying for film, right? Uh, yeah, well, it's a good thing I'm not paying for film. However, uh, we got these here. And uh, maybe we'll, we'll start out with, with these and see if we can get them bent into shape. And uh, just check and see what the manual has to say about it here. Now, I know that I had said we were going to get on onto these right now, but I was realizing afterwards that we better finish off this first part of step 50 and get the rest of this put together. In other words, we got to get a little seat put on 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 here. Okay, so that has to go on there. I already know how I'm going to do that. But as for these 55s and 56s, um, like this is, a, this is a 55, it has to be bent somehow and then and then placed on... I, I just can't figure this out here. I'm going to take out a few minutes and see if I can't find this this optical unit uh, at least I think that's what it is uh, in, a, in a photograph it seems to me I did look before and I, I couldn't find anything um, there's, there's got to be something somewhere that shows what 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 these things are and also how, how these parts actually go on Now, a few episodes back, I was saying that we're going to be putting these in these little holes right here. It's what I was talking about. We should make sure that they're going to fit before we actually try them because I'll end up breaking the photo etch pieces off the sides. And I probably would. It's a tight fit already without being painted. Okay. Now, that's not right. What actually goes in these six holes is some of these. And... Uh, yeah, they're the ones that we affectionately nicknamed the Martian Pizza Servers. Um, okay, I'll show you where they actually go. And I'll also show you what I found on the computer. Now these little optical units that are giving us a bit of problem because we're not sure how to put the photo etch on the side, uh, they actually go into B12 over here. And this is B12 on the sprue and it, it's a little bit of a tight fit I'm noticing with that as well so we'll probably have to drill those out. Now I imagine that sometime over the 20 or whatever years of the hood's life 
Somebody took pictures in this area here that we need to, uh, uh, you know, see the optical units. However, I haven't seen them, and who knows, they could have possibly gone down with the hood. Anyway, first of all, I went on the World of Warships uh, interactive CGI, and uh, yeah, it kind of lets you know what was there, but it's not really definitive. Whereas Stefan Drembinski's drawing here that we're looking at now, uh, it's a little clearer. Now you got to remember, it is just a drawing. It is just his idea of what was there. I don't know if he actually uh, got his uh, his uh, uh, facts and figures from some, from the real thing, or uh, I don't know. All I know is that this is probably pretty close. And it kind of gives us an idea of, of what this photo etch piece is. I believe it is some sort of a, almost like a site uh, to, uh, well, maybe we'll be able to see it better when we try to glue it onto the side of the little plastic part. And I emphasize little plastic part. We're going to just do the best we can here. Um, yeah, we're, yeah, I don't know what to say. Now, in all likelihood, a lot of you remember me doing this before, so I don't know why I'm doing it again. I want to get it right on the edge there. And you notice that little hole in the top. It's not really a hole, it's a slot. So I want to have it angled in such a way that when I drop the piece down in, the little tongue that is going to go down into the slot is going to be at the right angle. Now I will try and cut out the dead spots here. Okay, now the idea is to try and get just a little bit of CA on the tongue of that part there. Not not too much. Okay, I do believe I've got some. Now, get this adjusted a little better. Now, is that going to get on there? No, I, I missed the hole. I missed the hole. Okay, I do believe I've got some on there again. I do believe it's in the it's in the slot. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this right side up, you're not gonna be able to see me doing it. And once it starts to cure I'll straighten it out and then Reinforce it there. Okay. How does that look? Okay, now what is Trumpeter trying to tell us here? Okay, you can see this little hook on the top here. I believe that that's the little hook that the arrow was pointing down to on the drawing. And uh, so this does get bent slightly, I believe. How's it supposed to go in here? If I turn it just a little bit here. Now, is this supposed to bend? Let, let me just turn this over. Yes. Well, there I, I accidentally bent it just by, without even trying. Let's see if I can straighten it out here. Okay. Now you can, <clears throat> excuse me. You can you can see right there that it is supposed to bend. 
this way. Okay, so if I bend it this way, that that doesn't make doesn't make sense to way the way I think it's supposed to go. I'm gonna have to think about this. This is, I think, probably the most difficult photo edge piece that I've had to do because um, it it just doesn't seem to want to. You know, if I bend it towards the towards the crease that you're seeing right there, which is the way it's supposed to go, then it's not going to want to. Let me turn it back over again. Okay, it goes... I, I do believe it's supposed to go in here. So, this, this just doesn't make sense to me. This does not make sense. Okay, here is what I think is supposed to happen. No, not that. Now I can't, I have to be careful I don't bend this too many times here. Okay, now I want to bend it just just very slightly right there, just just a little bit, not at 90 degrees. So I'm using Mr. T's very finely honed and to a point pointing device here. Now we just slightly press in there, so this just very slightly bends, maybe at about. It's hard to grab hold of just the right place here. No, I just want to very slightly bend that. Like that. Well, maybe that's not enough. Why is this not working now? Oh! I can't bend these too many times or it's gonna it's gonna metal fatigue is gonna it's gonna break off and then I can kiss it goodbye. I just can't seem to grab hold of it there. I'm just making a big mess of it. This is so frustrating. must be exasperating for you watching as well. Oh, come on, Ron. Maybe flatten it out a little bit with my finger here. Now it's stuck to my finger. There are no extras of this. There are no extras probably getting it out of your field of view half the time here. This is just an exercise in frustration. Maybe if I do it like this. Okay, now I think what is supposed to happen is If I can turn it over the other way now. This is this part is becoming so weak at the joints. Okay, I think it's supposed to go something like this. I think when I go to do the other side. I'm not going to try to bend it, I'm just going to glue it on and then sort of bend it later. Now if I was to get just a little bit of of CA right there where the point is touching and then glue that that top part on oh. 
Okay, let's just do a dry run here. Now you see why it is I use any excuse to not do this photo etch. I think it, well at least this little pieces like this I think are beyond my ability. Um, I'll, I'll try and glue it on but I got a feeling that these little parts 54 and 55 they're not going on. We're just, I'll get the seats on, I can do that, but for some reason I just, I just can't do this. Well, I don't think that's exactly the way it's supposed to go, but I think after the CA cures, we can straighten this little sight one way or the other. I don't think these are going to survive. Actually, this went on a little better than I thought it was going to, so maybe I'm not as inept as I thought I was. Okay, I guess it should be obvious that I've I flipped it over. Did I say they were 54s and 55s? It's actually 55 and 56. This, this one here is uh, 56. kind of slipping on me here. I'm scared to squeeze it real tight. And do not anybody comment. Ron, you should get yourself a wax pencil. It'd be nice if I could get it lined up the same as the other one is. Okay, you're looking straight down on it right now. It looks pretty much the same as the other one. Okay, I think if we let that cure and then see if maybe with some CA thin I can reinforce it. This is the, the medium, by the way. Okay, obviously you're looking at it from the back. Maybe I won't try to reinforce it. This one here that I'm just about to touch looks like it has to be bent in just a little bit here maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit more well I think that's all the adjusting I'm going to do here. Um, 
Now, what do you think the chances are of this surviving? I mean, it, those things are so fragile that just laying it down in the tray, they're going to want to bend. Maybe I should uh, put something soft in the bottom of the tuna fish tin. You know, I can hardly believe that it's almost two o'clock already. Probably because most of my coffee is still there. Usually by now it's long gone. You know, it almost looks like that one to our right has to be bent just a little bit more yet. I don't know if it's going to work stuck in the masking tape here. It's, uh, I think we're going to leave well enough alone. And like I was saying before, let's find a nice soft little bed to put it in till we have to paint it. I definitely don't want to leave it on the block here. Okay, now the only thing I can see bad about having it in this nice soft tissue is that these little hook things uh, could catch in the fibers and if I'm not careful when I remove it, it, it could bend something here. Otherwise I, I think putting them in here is, is a, a good idea. Now I'm going to just try and do that two more times off camera and uh, that's the plan but it won't be today and the uh, once again the day never goes the way I think it's going to I thought we were going to be messing around with those uh, glue samples that we had done, that glue test, but that that's not going to be today. So uh, those of you who I sort of promised that we were going to do it today, well, I'm sorry about that. In the meantime, thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>